Right, so now we need to know how to do this section, which is directly related to a chunk of the assignment. Okay, you are going to get a small enclosed part of your work, your work spot, your workspace, your workshop, whatever you've designed, and you're going to figure out uh, the cost of flooring and the cost of painting it. Okay, so you're going to fill this yellow sheet out as you watch this video. All right, so let's say this is your design. Okay, that's the one that's 100. Um, you've already got something like this. Okay, should be in your purple folder. And you need to pick a, a section. Okay, an enclosed section. So let's say I'm going to pick this office here. And I'm going to look at the cost of flooring it and then painting the walls and the ceiling. Okay, so that's, that's what this is all about. So if you look over here, it says using the scale diagram, you need to work out the cost of flooring and painting the office space. Okay, just the office space. So calculate the floor area in meters squared. So the first thing you do, and you're going to do this for the assignment. Okay, you're going to actually do this, what I'm doing here, in your template. Okay, you need a nice, neat diagram of the office or the space that you're actually going to be looking at. Okay, doesn't have to be the scale, it's just got to not look like a dog's breakfast. Alrighty, and then you put in the dimensions. Okay, so you've gotten this off your uh, original diagram. Alright, and that one's three meters there, and eight meters across the bottom. Alright, so you've got a shape that you need to calculate the area of. All right, so this is two shapes here. Here I go. Okay, area one, and these are just two rectangles, it's a piece of cake. Okay, 5.5 .5 times 2.7, which the magic buttons can tell you that is 14.85. All right, area two, it's three meters by eight meters, which is 24 four square meters and then so the total is 38.85 square meters okay two things to just reiterate here first of all there's a separate line for each bit and I've got the units at the end of each bit that is how you're going to get the communication marks okay and then I've added it up at the bottom just to reiterate as well, this does not have to be to scale. You have already done a scale drawing of it. It just has got to be neat and to proportion. Okay, all right, so that's the total area. Righto, now we're going to look at how much this is going to cost. Now I've picked carpet tiles here simply because it's very readily available. Now you don't need to go beyond the Bunnings website for any of this stuff. Okay, Bunnings will do you well. You could do uh, cork tiles, um, carpet squares, lino tiles, whatever, whatever. But you, I, my advice is pick some tiling that is going to go down. Okay, so these are carpet tiles. So we need to know how many of these. Work out the cost of covering. Okay, the office floor with carpet tiles. Each one is nine dollars. So we need to know how many we need. All right, well, what's one tile? One tile is fifty by fifty centimeters. Get that to meters. Okay, I keep saying this again and again. If you want to get square meters, you've got to start in meters. All right, so what's going on there? So one tile, that's actually a half meter by a half meter. So that's 0 0.25 square meters. Okay, so one tile takes up that many. Well, how do I know how many tiles I need? Well, you get the total area back there. You get the total area and divide it by the area of one tile. All right, so number needed is 38.85 divided by 0.25. So the magic buttons tell you that that is 155.4. I can't have point. I can't buy 0.4 of a tile. I can buy 155 or 156. So I'm going to have to buy 156 tiles. And that's not cost. That's how many I've got to walk into Bunnings in order. 
Now that is going to cost me nine dollars each. So cost is nine times one hundred and fifty-six, which is one thousand four hundred and four. All right. So that's how much the flooring is going to cost. So we started off getting the area, found out the area of one tile, the number needed, and then the cost per tile. All right. So that's the the flooring. Now we need to look at the walls. We're going to paint the walls. Okay. So you've got there an assumption at the start. You're going to assume the ceiling is 3.2 meters high and you're going to assume that you can ignore windows and doors. Okay, so you're not going to, you're assuming that it's all a smooth thing. Okay, we're not going to subtract windows and things like that. Um, now, you need in your assignment to figure something out like that, add to assumptions section. You need to state assumptions, okay? You need to assume that the ceiling is a certain height. All right, so first of all, if you're thinking about it, let's just redo the, the office space again, all right? So it kind of looks like that, okay? Um, I'm just gonna, that's 2.7, 2 2.5, that's three meters. 8 meters and this whole length here is 5.7 meters. Okay, oh, and hang on, on the top there's 5.5. All right, so that's the space. Now if you think about it, think about going up out of the page. The walls, kind of like that, aren't they? Okay, and you've got 3.2 coming up here. So that there, is actually a rectangle and the area of that is 8 by 3.2. The easy way to do this is to find the perimeter of the whole thing and then just multiply the perimeter by the height and that will give us the area of the walls. Okay, so let's start with that. The perimeter of the room is all these things added up. Okay, so we've got 5.5 plus 5.7 plus 8 plus 3 plus 2.5 plus 2.7. Okay, and if you do the number crunching there, that's 2.7 meters. Okay, stop and think. That is essentially, if you walked around the edge of the room, that is how far you would have walked. All right. But now we need the area of the walls. Okay, so we're going up three dimensional now. Area of walls. This is not the area of the floor. This is the area of the walls. You need to actually really tell the reader what you're actually doing here. So it's that length around the bottom times the vertical bit. Okay, so it's 3.2. Then we crunch that out and you've got 87.68 meters squared okay so that's just the walls now the area of the ceiling is basically the area of the floor okay so the total the total painting area is the walls plus the ceiling Okay, so we know that the walls are 87.68 meters. We worked out before that the floor area was 38.85, so that's the same as the ceiling. Okay, and that ends up being 126.53 square meters. All right, so the total area to be painted is that. Okay, so it's the ceiling. Uh, plus the walls, and that's the walls, and the ceiling is the same as the floor. All right, let's move on. So we've got the total area that's gonna be painted. Now you then, on the Bunnings website, you need to go and get some paint. Now it doesn't really matter what the paint, as long as it's, it's interior paint. What you need is the size of the tin, you need the cost per tin, and you need the coverage, those three things. Okay, so you need uh, you need cost. Hang on, I've got it here. You need cost, 
size and how much it actually is worth. All right, so what's it asking you there? Work out how many liters of paint are needed. Assume two coats as a minimum. All right, so again, that's an assumption. You could assume that you're gonna do three coats in yours. That's fine, okay? But no one ever does one coat if you're doing a proper job. So let's assume two coats. All right, so here we go. So uh, 16 square meters is covered by one liter of paint, okay? Well, how much paint covers one square meter? Well, I just divide both sides by 16. So one square meter, it'll take one divided by 16 liters. All I've done is divided both sides by 16. Well, I don't want one square meter. I want, how much do we want? We wanted 126.53. Okay, so now I'm gonna multiply both sides by 126.53 square meters. Okay, so that ends up being 7.9 liters. But we want two coats minimum. So for two coats, I double that, and that is 15.8 liters. Okay, so I'm buying this in four liter tins. How many tins are needed? How many four liter tins are needed? Okay, so I go 15.8, that's the total number of liters I need, divided by four liters, that's 3.95 tins. I can't buy 0.95 of a tin, I can only buy four, so I need four tins. Okay, so I know I need to walk into Bunnings and buy four tins of this paint in order to do two coats of the walls and the ceilings. How much is that going to cost? Okay, so one tin is $91.90. So the cost of the paint is four times $91.90, which is $367.60. Okay, so we've got the cost of the flooring which was at 1,440, uh, 404, and then the cost of the paint, which is that one. So work out the total cost of flooring and paint in the office. The total cost equals the flooring plus the paint. So that's 1,404 plus 3,6760. 1,771. 60. That is what you're after. So without labor or anything like that, just the cost of materials, it'll cost $1,771 to paint that and to floor it. Okay, to basically redo this office with flooring, new flooring and fresh paint on the walls and ceiling, $1,771. That is what you've got to do for the assignment. Pick a small space, a reception area or an office would be my advice. Um, you've got to go and do the total area, get the flooring costs, get the area of the walls, get the total painting cost. Okay, off to it.